My name is Juan Pablo Valdebenito, and I'm going to present you this abstract. I have nothing to disclose. The pathophysiology of increasing post-void residual volume is not generally well understood, and interactions with bladder outlet obstruction and detrusive contraction strengths are complex. The ratio between bladder outlet obstruction and the trusal contraction strength indexes has been named relative bladder outlet resistance. In men, relative bladder outlet resistance seems to better predict an increased post-void residual volume than the trusal contraction strengths or bladder outlet obstruction indexes alone. But due to anatomic differences between men and women, the voiding dynamics differ significantly. The aims of our study were to compare voiding parameters in women with and without increased post-void residual volume, to correlate these parameters with post-void residual volume and post-void residual percentage, and finally to describe their ability to predict increased post-void residual volume. This was a retrospective analysis of a prospectively built database 826 consecutive women and event conventional neurodynamics following the ICS guidelines, and women who voided with abdominal straining were excluded to avoid its effect on QMAX. And this was our definition of abdominal straining during voiding. In the remaining women, we found 90 with increased post-void residual volume in the pressure flow study. 35 additional exclusions were done due to inconsistencies between pressure flow study and free uteroflowometry, leading 55 women to evaluate. These patients were matched with the same number of patients without increased post-void residual volume, controlled for some confounding variables that affect voiding function, such as age, presence of a stress urinary incontinence, that decreases the urethral resistance and pre-voiding bladder volume that change latent detrusive power. And this was done without having into account any of the voiding parameters. Increased post-void residual volume was defined as 50 ml or more. Post-void residual percentage was calculated using this simple formula. We calculate the following simple voiding indexes. Two bladder outlet obstruction indexes, bladder outlet obstruction index itself, and urethral resistance. One the trusal contraction strength index, which was the projected isovolumetric pressure one. And two relative bladder outlet resistance indexes calculated uh, using the ratio between the bladder outlet obstruction indexes and the detrusal contraction strength index. Here we have the comparison of pressure flow study parameters. All voiding parameters were significantly different between women with and without increased post-void residual volume, with, with the exception of projected isovolumetric pressure one. And this was an unexpected result. If we look at the correlations with post-void residual volume and post-void residual percentage, the best correlation was found with bladder outlet obstruction index. Projected isovolumetric pressure one did not correlate with post-void residual volume or post-void residual percentage. And the relative bladder outlet persistence indexes did not improve the correlations. Here we can see some of the linear regressions for bladder outlet obstruction index, very significant but weak, not significant for projected isovolumetric pressure one, and significant for this relative bladder outlet resistance index. Here we have the results of the prediction ability of increased post-void residual volume. Bladder outlet obstruction index 
and urethral resistance had good ability to predict increased phosphoric residual volume, but projected isovolumetric pressure, one did not. And again, the relative bladder outlet resistance indexes did not improve the prediction. Here we have some of the rock curves for bladder outlet obstruction index with a good area under the curve. And for this relative bladder outlet resistance index, also a good area under the curve. So in conclusion, in women who voided without abdominal straining and after controlling for confounding variables, post-void residual volume correlates with bladder outlet obstruction and not with the trusal contraction strength parameters. And further studies are required to understand the pathophysiology of increasing phosphoric residual volume in women. Thank you very much for your attention. I will be very happy to receive your questions. <laughs>